The trick with animation is always to try and break it down into small, easy chunks. I'm going to create an animation of a spanner coming in to towards a nut, going around it, pausing for a moment, and then rotating the nut round a small amount. So there's some quite complicated things in there. There's the spanner moving and then stopping and then rotating and then stopping again. And to make that work, I'm going to use scenes to break it down into four separate things. To start off with, I'm going to new, again, 30 frames per second, 550 by 400 is okay. I'm going to bring in, so file and import to the stage the spanner. Okay, and I'm going to rename that layer as spanner. And they need to be on different layers. The spanner knuckles are going to do slightly different things. The spanner is going to start over here, slightly off the screen. I then need to put in a new layer. So file and import to stage the nut. And I need to rename the layer as nut. I'm going to move that over there slightly and I want to animate both of them in the end so I'm going to modify and convert to symbol and that's my nut and I'm going to modify and convert to symbol and that's my spanner and I'm going to start just by creating the first animation the first animation is being going to be this spanner closing in on this nut and I want it to take a couple of seconds to do that. So I'm on the spanner, create a motion tween. I want to extend it to 60 frames or two seconds. I want the spanner and the nut to both be in the shot. So I select both layers, right mouse click and insert a frame. Okay. And at the end of the animation, I want the spanner to have moved forward and wrapped around the nut. So if I press play, the spanner appears to come in and moves around the nut. Now next, I want it to pause. And how I'm going to do that as a separate animation is by using a scene. 